This is strong on my heart because I went somewhere in the course of last week. And I had the um, course of meeting some persons there and there. And they reminded me again of how many persons who are, are of how we started and how many have fallen by the wayside. Though. So many, especially since COVID. So many. What it to do? Praise the Lord. They have lost him. Some have even turned around and said, what you guys are doing is not real. Glory to God. That's because somewhere around their head, uh, uh, they either thought that this whole thing was uh, come and eat uh, sweet and come and lick butter. Or they became idle. But if you are on the field walking, 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 you won't have time to even remember your pains. Are you still here? Is somebody still here? Okay, I do not like the way you are looking at me, but I will say my own and get out of your presence. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Are you still here? Mark chapter 16, 15. And he said to them, go ye into all the world. You know that scripture. We don't need to open that one and preach the gospel to every nation. World there is from the Greek word cosmos. And it means an apt and harmonious arrangement or constitution of things or order of things. So go into all the world, go into all the systems of the world. Glory to God. And then the Matthew 28 rendition, uh, verse 19, go ye therefore and teach all nations. So I was thinking one day, wait till Mr. Mark and Mr. Matthew, you want to confuse us? Two of you were there when Jesus was talking. Which one is which? You say go into all the world, which means systems of the world. And then you say go into all the nations. Nations is from the Greek word ethnos, and it means a multitude of individuals of the same nature or genius. The two words want to re resemble, but they are not exactly the same. Then he occurred to me. When you are talking like I'm talking now, I can use one, I can be wanting to communicate one idea and use several words. Is that not correct? That's what happened that day. And then so Matthew, what stuck with Matthew was ethnos. What stuck with Mark was uh, systems of the world. Are you still here? So don't forget where I started from. And this is just an extension of what God told Adam. Fill the earth. Uh, sorry, uh, be fruitful. Multiply, replenish. Replenish means to cover all the earth. Where, so they cannot, wherever one, remove me, they cannot breed. Wherever they turn, they will encounter our presence. That's what it means. Ah, yes, too. I love redeemed. Glory to God. I love the redeemed church. If any set of people of God, many know what they are doing, but these ones, they really, really, really know what they are doing. I told you I went to my village. A village next to my village. That's my village now. Praise the Lord. And my village is six hours, 100 meters plus drive from Lagos to my village. And, you know, I thought I just went to honor them. I told me I'll be talking to like 50 persons. And then, bam, the, I see a mighty church. I wonder who will fill this place. Come evening, over 500 going to 1,000. I was shocked. And I'm seeing people from my real village, and they are telling me I'm in this church. I'm like three or four churches in my village alone. Glory to Jesus. I'm in the man's uh, office, provincial pastor, and he's meeting, she's meeting with leaders from hamlets. Hamlets, places where I'm sure they have what light now, but maybe 15 years ago, they didn't have lights. Hamlets, leaders of 20s, leaders of 15s. And they are paying the salaries of those missionaries. Ah, I just said, oh, Rem, I said, ah, may we know what we are doing, you know. Are you still here? Daniel is here. He's a son of the, one of the pastors of that ministry. He, he knows what I'm talking about. That is exactly what Jesus asked us to do. Am I communicating? Is somebody still here? Praise the Lord. Are you getting something already? So, when God would take the children of Israel into the, uh, the promised land, the same pattern. God does not have two patterns for overtaking places. Same pattern. Be fruitful, multiply, 
uh, replenish, cover it. And then, by the time you are covering it, you will be able to subdue. Because they can't, uh, in, you are in, in the industries, you are there in business, you are there in career, you are there, you are in this one. In the, they, they will, if they don't like you, they must like you by force. Are you still here? Praise the Lord. Look at what he told them. In, he, he said it in Exodus 23, verse 23. He said, For mine angels shall go before you, God is talking, and bring you in unto the Amorites, and the Etites, and the Perizzites, and the Canaanites, and the Jebusites, and I will cut them off. Each of these nations meant a particular group. It meant a particular system or order of things. And then we are going to look at them. Glory to Jesus. And then in Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 1, there's one added that is not there. When the Lord your God shall bring you into the land, whither you go to possess it, and you and has cast out many nations before you, the Etites, the Gegeshites. Gegeshites was not in the first one. So quickly, I want us to look at the meanings. So the seven gates, literally, that you and I, or even eight gates, that you and I should possess. Praise the Lord. Same thing Jesus was saying. He said, the way I will build my church, the gates of hell will not be able to prevail against it. Because I will build a gate taking over church. Or a gate overtaking church. A place in systems overtaking church. Glory to God. No, no, you think, think about it now. It's, I'm not saying it's impossible. But it's very difficult to, to attend school, primary school. Of deeper life, secondary school, deeper life, and then um, what's it called now? University, deeper life, and it's, it's slim, very slim chances of not knowing God, of not being born again. <laughs> are you still here? I wanted to scare your wonder. See, the way you are going, I will send you to what's that, the name of that the university? Is it Apple University? Or something? I'm going to send you there. Are you are you Sima? <laughs> By the time you spend one, one, one semester and come back, the way you be, my daddy, good morning, sir. <laughs> oh, this your blue, blue blah blah will stop immediately. Are you still here? That's the same thing the missionaries did. They came, they started hospitals, they started school. Uh, Ishiaka entered it, uh, Ngozi entered it, Shukuma entered it, all of them. After some time, began to go to church. Are you still here? So let's run. What I've done today, I have not respected my, my notes. Praise the Lord. So there are seven or eight gates that you and I are supposed to take. First, a gate in those days, the gate of any society, of course, gate represents the gate there. It represents the portal of entry. And so first thing we are supposed to do is to be an everywhere church, enter every gate. So gate represented the portal of entry, the physical access to any society. So we are supposed to, to enter everywhere. Enter everywhere, be everywhere. People say, too many churches. He said, it's because of too few churches in Europe and, and America. That's why they were there. Are you still here? The devil deceived them. The, the churches began to close up, close up, close up. Now you have to travel from one local government to another local government until you find a living church. That's why they are where they are today. But if we're everywhere, praise God. If this one is not saying what this saying is well, this one will say it well. If this one is not getting it, this one will get it. How can we be everywhere? Sell. Ah! Hey, Jiro, Alfred Ifogbe. Praise God, she corrected me one day. So I'm not a Jiro in football, I'm afraid in football. Any person who refuses to get involved with a system like cell system, two things. They either don't know what we are doing, what we are all about, or they are not interested in the Great Commission. Are you still here? It's not to inconvenience you. We are supposed to everywhere. That's how the, the first church overtook everywhere. Remember they called it. They say, what is it now? You people want to bring the sin of this man upon our head and you have filled Jerusalem with your doctrines. You remember that? 
How do they feel Jerusalem? Every house. Greet the church that is in the house of Kenaz. Greet the church that is in the house of Matthew. Greet the church that is in the house of Donald. Praise God. <laughs> church everywhere. No big space like this. They didn't, nobody would rent a church to you in those days. But they were in every house. This is why I say I love redeem. One of their mission statements, it's always there when they go there, when you go to the any church. One of the lines in the mission statement, he said, to have a redeemed member, help me finish it, in every, in every family on earth. <laughs> he said, to have a church within five minutes driving. Abby? Five minutes driving, five minutes driving and then something minutes walking. 15 minutes. Are you still here? Yesterday, some of my, the cousins of my wife came. Their uh, RCF, Redeemed Christian Fellowship, their campus fellowship, they had a national leaders, leadership retreat. And then we went to see those boys, to pick them, come to the house, and then we drop them back. So my wife was asking them, I said, are these all the students? I said, no, these are just the leaders <laughs> of the fellowship. Are you still here? Somebody is in a school. They are doing school fellows. You are not involved. You are entering the university. You just pass out four years. You don't know what we are doing. You do not have any idea about the Great Commission. Are you still here? Is somebody still here? Feel everywhere. Feel everywhere. So in those... So I will be... Uh, bringing it out from the two hands. You remember I said, I will bring you into the Etites, the Evites, and all that. Evites means a village. So feel everywhere. Enter every family. Praise the Lord. I said, praise the Lord. Enter every family. Cells, fellowships, campus fellowship, lunch hour fellowship, everything fellowships. Just be involved. They have a street fellowship. Don't say they call it, they always pray for and that. Go and join them. Praise the Lord. They have, they have a, they do prayer meetings in the compound every one Saturday in the month. Don't say, I don't like the way they are praying. They are not too, mm, leave that one. Leave their doctrinal differences aside. Go and join them. Because one or two persons in that compound will be touched by reason of the presence of that fellowship. Are you still here? Uh, so, so in taking the gate, seven gates to take, physical, physical infiltration of all the places. Physical infiltration. Physical infiltration. Glory to God. I said, number two, gates also represented the marketplace. So he said, I will, my God will bring you in and he will cut off the Evites, the, the Canaanites. The word Canaan, the Canaanites are the descendants of Canaan. And Canaan means merchant. So we are also supposed to take over the 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 economy and the commerce of the place. Because indeed, we are not serious if we have not infiltrated the commerce. Is that correct? Because it's the people who have the money that will do what? Dictate the trends. Is that not correct? And see all that we are doing, but the, this world of darkness is still uh, like ahead of us because they have more money than us. You see, that's why God will prosper you, Eli. <laughs> Eli. There's a family I know in Moe, Tien, my side. Papeli, Mameli, praise God. <laughs> That's God, why God is going to prosper you. You get to a place like this, writing one billion naira for a church project will not be anything to you. But when it comes, sir, don't ever forget the reason for it. It's not for buying cars. So we saw some, some, some people's cars, brand new products. So I, saw, I was at Pastor Hakim. That car will be up to 15 million naira. He laughed. He said, that car should be like 40 million naira. Then he changed his mind. He said, maybe like 45 million naira. And then myself and my wife were in the car. My wife said, can you use money to buy a car like that? I said, have I finished building real estate before? <laughs> Hallelujah. Maybe we'll get there. Shall praise God. By the time you have 40 billion, what is 40 million? Just buy it. Because the guy said we do evangelism. Is that not correct? Yes, somebody, somebody, some, somebody who is stubborn on the street 
uh, do, do, wanting to grow into an area. And say, hey, Taju, and Taka. And then he says, sit by my side. Then he will sit like this. <laughs> yes, sir. Okay, Mutibosa. sir. King what church, my wife, sir. what by CCM, my wife. Praise God. <laughs> That's intimidating gospeling. Shame, get ready. It is coming. Am I communicating? God will empower you. God will empower you seriously. If he doesn't do it, then he's not serious about the Great Commission. But I know he's serious about it and he will do it. Just position your heart aright. Is somebody still here? He said, I will, I will bring you in onto the Canaanites and I will drive them out. You guys will take over at the marketplace. Glory to God. I said glory to Jesus. Glo write down 2 Kings chapter 7 verse 1. Just a, a, a scripture to show you that the gate was also the marketplace in the Old Testament. It was at the gate of Samaria that Elisha declared that by this time tomorrow, so and so will be sold for so and so at the gates of Samaria. Bible in basic English says... Uh, okay, will be offered for the price of a shekel and two measures of barley for a shekel in the marketplace of Samaria. So the gate usually also asked the marketplace. I see you taking over the marketplace. What else did the gate signify? Gate signified the sports, the culture, and the arts. It was the hub or the rallying point of sports culture. In, in any society. This is what the word gegashites also connotes. Remember the gegashites? Gegashites. Gegashites means, means dwelling on a clay soil. So in those days, they didn't have too many sports. Particular one sport that they had was wrestling. You remember wrestling? And then they particularly did it on a muddy soil so that if somebody tried to throw you and your body touched the ground, you will not say, ah, my body didn't touch the ground. You know, they didn't have cameras to see whether you so, so once your body touched the ground, it will carry mob. If you say, my body didn't touch the ground, you say, what is this mud doing on your body? Are you still here? Also, the, the only arts and culture, most arts that they had, pottery, was pottery that was being made from clay. So God says, take over the clay setup. Take over the, the entertainment, the culture, the arts. Praise the Lord. That's why he's empowering people like Nathaniel. Listen to me, we'll empower people here. Amen. Guy, those guys do see and all, they, they understand it. They understand, they are not the ones who, uh, you, who you can go and say, hey, remove Jesus from your song. No, don't, they even speak in tongues. I'm not calling, 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 calling. <laughs> That's why God is prospering them. Are you still here? He will prosper you. How many see great entertainment musicians and artists being raised from our church? I say it. I said I say it. The Joshua Bamidele's, the, the other Bamidele guy, the, 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 God will raise people like that here. Great people in arts. Are you still here? I like those guys. When I turn to their channel and I will see a film that was released five days ago, over 360 views, 60,000 views. Uh -huh. We are coming. We haven't gotten there, but we are coming. God will raise people like that here. But those guys, they know what they are doing. Am I communicating? They are not neither here nor their people. Are you still here? They are not people who are trying to use the methods of the devil to steal the people of the devil. Devil is too smart for that. You can't use his tricks to steal his people. Am I communicating? Stay with your own. Somebody stay, stay with your own. Glory to God. I said glory to God. I said glory to God. Scripture to back that up. Okay. Um, Psalm 69 verse 12. They that sit in the gate speak against me. And I was the song of the drunkards. Where do the drunkards gather to drink? At the pubs, at the entertainment places. Lamentations 5.14. The elders have seized from the gate. Even the, the young men from their music. The elders have seized from the gate. The young, so, so, so music, very powerful. If we, if we, if we act, everything are very powerful. 
You are looking at that. Pastor is a great man. Mm, pastor is the least, the least officer in the church. Oh. True. The pastor, the least officer in the church. It is the people who are out there who, who God will use to do massive things. They are the ones that, that, that God really uh, wants to empower. Are you still here? But if you keep saying uh, it's just drum, nobody knows me. Ah! What else did the gate represent? The gate represented the educational nerve center. The educational nerve center. Proverbs chapter 1, chapter 8, verse 1 to 2. Does not wisdom cry and understanding put up her voice? She standed in the top of the high places by the way of the places of the paths. Verse 3. She cried at the gates, at the entry of the city, at the coming in at the doors. So the, the gates also signified the educational uh, gathering, attraction center of any society. Are you still here? So what does that tell us? We should take over education. We should take over education. Look at the example I used earlier. Look at the example I used earlier. Glory to God. Start schools. Start schools. Start schools. Infiltrate it. Start lessons. Start anything. Be there educationally for, 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 for the children as they go through school. Praise the Lord. You still see it in Proverbs chapter 1, verse 20 to 21. Uh, 21, she cried in the cheap place of the concourse in the openings of the gates. What is crying? Wisdom. Education. Stand up. Whether here, not everybody you, whether here or in Japa land, God will empower you to take over in education. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Fred, I met a young man. They told me around Mowe where we have the sign that there's a school. One of my uh, towns people who, who used to work for me, children are at home, they're not going to school. So I told another person, don't you know any free school, uh, cheap schools here? He said, there's a free school somewhere. So I said, take me there. And then he took me there. And I saw a young man. He lives in Yaba here. He said, God told him to go and start a free school in the Mowe area. The next thing I will say will surprise you. The guy has a PhD. So I met him and the young people, about 30 of them, that he's using, so he's, he's there because he's using his father's uh, property. I said, free, free, free. He said, free. He said, it's not easy. So I was really clinical. It's not easy, but free. He said it was the first time he got here that he knew why God said so. It, there was a six years old and an eight years old who couldn't go to school because their mother couldn't afford it. Praise God. When we got there, they were doing fellowship. The children were leading prayers. He was standing. And then I said, let's go. He said, no, let's sit here. So we sat and we, as he was talking, I was listening to the Ogbonge prayer that the children were praying. You can't go to, you can't go to school free and not catch something else. Are you still here? Let me tell your neighbor, this life is beyond you. It's more than you. God is raising you to empower people up. When I have some ease, I'm going to go into school. I'm going to build schools. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You can have it at the back of your mind, not just to, to make money. Just imagine now. Imagine, you know, somebody is under your tutelage from uh, primary one and then secondary school before they leave. They pass from secondary to the same university, to the same second, primary to the same whatever. Uh, are you saying you can't, do any, you can't mold that child for Christ? Praise God. I know I have to stop now. Praise the Lord. But let me say this one. The gate also represented the media nerve center. 
she cried at the openings of the gate. Why did she go to the openings of the gate? That's where many people are passing. That's where there's traffic. Praise the Lord. Blind Bartimaeus had a begging business. Bible says she, he went to stand at the place, at the footpath, as people were passing. So he could shout, hey, I'm here. And then Jesus said him, praise the Lord. Somebody say media. media. Say it again, media. media. Say it one more time, media. media. Jesus says, help us seize media. Don't be on social media and be reposting the things that devils have, have generated. All manners of things that devils, they have been paid. Just like there are professional pastors, there are professional, I don't know what to call them, past devils, praise God. They are generating content, generating content, and then they throw it there, and then because it's probably like, palm. Don't do that. Neither join them in creating content that will corrupt people rather than conv convince them. Are you still here? Don't be at the social media and be, and be doing there for entertainment. As you are entertaining, be strategic. Is somebody still here? The word Amorites means sayers. Amorites, sayers. People who are announcing it. People who are announcing it, saying it. Glory to God. Is somebody still here? Look at the content that we have in this church. But it's not out there. And I thank God for what the ones who are doing are doing yet. But we can do more. There are young people here. You can, you can help package our products and then let it be out there. You can com commit yourself to doing it. Praise the Lord. This is warfare, period. Why in the warfare? Hallelujah. Are you blessed? Are you blessed? Are you blessed? Is somebody feeling blessed this morning? In the name of Jesus. The last gate is the Etite gates. Etites are the children of earth. And earth means terror. This speaks of government. And enforcers of the law. Barista and barista. Barista, barista, barista. <laughs> Hallelujah. God has them. They only know what they only need to know why they are in law, why, that they are in law for a purpose. God has them. Are you still here? Don't join them and start, you know, and that start doing things or legislations or permitting legislations that are anti God. No. Is somebody still here? Did you know that sometime in this country, about seven years ago or so, I don't know what they were, I think they wanted to, uh, they, they wanted to start legislating, I don't know what, what the decision they did. They wanted to start regulating churches or, I can't remember what it is they were trying to do that. Eh? They had uh, to make churches pay tax and all that. It was some lawyers who stood up and then that thing crashed. Listen, we are in warfare with devils. If you don't know, you don't know it. You didn't really love for your pocket alone. Your pocket is done. You read it so that when they stand you to, you come out. Praise God. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> and then you say, that's my brother. Don't touch him. Glory to Jesus. You will get it. If you will get it, stand to your feet. You will get it. Somebody here will get it. You will get it. God will position you. I write in the name of Jesus.